Weather pretty interesting. Clearly we've had enough cold mornings this week. It was cool this morning, but the trend is definitely up in terms of daytime highs. That is Pismo Beach a little earlier. This is live along the 101 in San Luis Obispo. Mild weather into Saturday. Breezy and cooler on Sunday to downright windy, really. Slim rain potential as we get into Sunday and Monday. There's a slight chance of picking up a few droplets, but models are showing mostly dry, and I'll show you one of those coming up here shortly. Karen Crouch out at uh, and above as well, uh, the Pismo Pier, and that is just a stunning picture. Love that. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, be on KSBY. El Pepito, a regular contributor, the waxing gibbous moon looking very, very nice there, and can't wait to see your pictures as well. Okay, it's the reservoir update time. We do that once a week. Nascimento is at 52%, Salinas at 83%, Lopez 51%, and Whale Rock 84. No significant rainfall means we're coming down a little bit, but generally the numbers are not bad. We did have a wet November and we still have had some of that water hanging around here. Kachuma at 71.9, Jamison 81, Gibraltar 36, and San Antonio at 38. So for the month already, and we're, again, we're just getting in, we're already a half inch short for the month in Santa Maria and two and a half inches short for the season. In Paso Robles, one of the places we've been running a surplus, well, that gap is really getting much closer. We're only a quarter inch uh, in fact, we're a quarter inch short now, so that's how quickly we're starting to see a change in the amounts here. Santa Barbara, three inches short on rain for the season and already seven tenths an inch short for this month. This is supposed to be our wettest month. The U.S. Drought Monitor is showing an expanding area of abnormally dry, mostly for the Central Valley in Northern California, but certainly we've been dry here on the Central Coast. Models can take us out 16 days with some kind of resolution. This is the American GF computer model and let's zoom in on California. So we do have a weekend rain opportunity, but it's really going to be Southern California, I think, with the best chance. This is remarkable in terms of 16 days to get any kind of model output that shows much of California being completely dry in the wettest month of the year. Uh, that's a concern moving forward. Morning lows again moderating a little bit. We did freeze at Cal Poly, Santanez this morning and Paso Robles, but elsewhere we were above freezing. We did have a frost advisory this morning and the daytime highs near 70 degrees. And I like even warmer conditions as we get into tomorrow and Saturday. Temperatures right now are sitting in the middle to upper 50s and low 60s. The winds are onshore, but they'll switch back offshore here in the hours to come. So hourly forecast looking really, really nice tomorrow many more hourly forecasts available on my app. Coming up tonight at 6, I'll show you the weather pattern, a uh, big ridge of high pressure. I'll show you what that looks like on satellite imagery. It's pretty interesting how large the high pressure ridge is. 69 Santa Maria, 71 San Luis, 68 in Paso, 66 for Santa Barbara. Again, the overnight lows are coming up. We're going to see a lot of overnight lows in the 30s and lower 40s, but probably missing a freeze in Solvang and Santa Inez. Even Cuyama could miss a freeze tomorrow morning. Closer to the coast, those off Shore winds. The fact that we were warmer today means the overnight temperatures will be a little bit warmer. A lot of 40s closer to the coast and the interior valleys nearly 70 degrees, about four or five degrees above average. OK, so Santa Barbara and South could see a sprinkle or two on Sunday, but it's not going to be the kind of rainfall that makes any improvement in those kind of depressing rain numbers. And we'll be